Dozens of states have legalized recreational marijuana or decriminalized recreational marijuana possession in small amounts, but that is still not the case in Alabama. Local marijuana advocacy groups are asking state lawmakers for improvements to the state's nonviolent cannabis arrests. News 19's Archie Snowden joins us in studio now with more on the efforts to get lawmakers to decriminalize street marijuana possession. Okay, thank you, Emily. Advocates are looking for what other states are doing to legalize medical cannabis, asking state lawmakers to make changes on how folks are being being arrested for marijuana possession. Democratic Senator Bobby Singleton is sponsoring the marijuana decriminalization legislation for the fourth consecutive year. It usually passes the Senate Judiciary Committee review, but dies on the Senate floor. Advocates are calling for it to pass legislation to expunge criminal records for marijuana possession while looking for radical disparities in, in arrest rates before moving forward and establishing medical cannabis dispensaries. I want to see an end to prohibition altogether, but decriminalization is a part of that. So we'd be very, very fortunate here in the state if we could get this legislation passed and come back in 2024 and just really hit it hard. Now, as an example, Huntsville police arrested more than 5,000 people for marijuana possession between 2018 and 2022, according to the stats displayed by a council member at a recent work session of almost 43,000 of those were black. The Alabama Cannabis Coalition plans to hold a rally at the state capitol on April 22nd to push legislation. More on this continued fight coming up on News 19 at 10.